Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Burhan here from NerdGenius.com, and I'm here with Jens Eriksson from uh, Funcom. So, uh, tell us about the new Conan games that you guys got, Conan Exile. What's uh, this about? Is it based on more kind of the Age of Conan formula, the, or is it based on kind of the, the Xbox games, the, the games that we've seen previously? So, uh, Conan Exiles is an open world survival game set in the world of Conan the Barbarian, and our uh, first source of inspiration has always been the Conan stories, the original Robert E. Howard Conan stories. And so we uh, we looked at survival games, and we looked at Conan the Barbarian, and we, figured, and we figured, hey, this is like this could be a really cool survival game experience. And so uh, at the time, our studio was, was struggling a little bit, and we decided to okay, we can probably in a year make something that we can release in in early access, and yeah. then you know uh, move the game forward from there and have something that's like really good and really kick ass from from the get go in early access, and build on that and improve it. And Make something better and better and better. Yeah. So the, yeah, our uh, the main source of inspiration has always been been the the original stories, but we've also drawn some inspiration from from like the movies and the comic books and all that kind of stuff because we are pretty big Conan fans at the studio. Our creative director can drop like any <laughs> Conan quotes at the drop of a hat. He can sing you the theme song from like the the old eighties uh, cartoon that he grew I, up with. Yes. So, um, Conan the Adventure. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. And so it's uh, it's been a it's been a really fun project. Um, so in terms of like the the story and what 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 do players kind of get out of this? Because this is kind of an age of um, MMOs. We've got like stuff like Destiny, currently Monster Hunter World. What makes Conan Excels different? Well, I think uh, since this is a survival game based on the Robert E. Howard story, we have a bottom, we have a lot of uh, lore and backstory and that we can uh, pull from and put into the game. Of course. And so we're we're trying to tell a bit of a story it's not like very it's not like in your face all the time you sort of yeah. have to look for it in like <laughs> item descriptions and lore stones around the world map and it's also it allows us to create a uh, world that is very different yeah. from other types of survival games and other types of games in general like there aren't like there are some fantasy games but this is uh, this is more like a dark like sword and sandals type fantasy world so it's more it's much more brutal it's a bit more it's kind of weird to call it realistic because we have uh, weird like turtle creatures and uh, giant monsters that you can fight as well. Well, that um, could be realistic. Just give it a few more years. Yeah, yeah. and also <laughs> in terms of in terms of combat, like where our main focus has been to have really good like brutal tactical melee combat, and so that's been one of our key focus areas for the game. Oh, of course. And because like this being the world of Conan the Barbarian, you can't just you can't give no. guns to people, yes. which you see in a lot of other survival games or like MMOs like Destiny, as you mentioned. So we really had to, that was a tough nut to crack, but I think we managed to, to crack it. So what you're currently doing here at EGX, you're re representing the game, but you're also doing a fun little competition. Yeah, I mean, we've, because uh, like, a survival game is kind of hard to demo in a setting like this, where you're like, <laughs> people come in, they play for 15 minutes, they don't, they don't feel like they have a handle on things, and so they just like, they leave again. Yeah. So we built a PvP arena, and we're having people come in and basically fight in teams. And the winner, the winning team, like the team with the last person standing, of course, they win a Conan Exiles T-shirt, which I am not wearing. Well, I should have been wearing, but uh, which uh, which has like one of our giant god avatars standing <laughs> over, standing over a uh, a bunch of soldiers trying to take him down, ready well, to stomp on them. Hopefully, we can pop one in front of the camera for you yeah, guys. Just like, shh, model it. Yeah. like that. <laughs> we'll, so we'll just uh, Photoshop it in. It's just easy, it's easier said than done. So yeah, you can do st do that with green screen, right? Yeah, yeah. just green screen. Just put it above behind us and stuff. So in terms of like the game itself, um, when is the, the ETA on the release date? So we're already out in early access and yes. game preview. Uh, we've been in uh, early access for about a year since January of last year and in game preview since uh, August of last year. But our uh, full release is on May 8th this year. May 8th this year? On PC, bad, on away. Xbox and on PlayStation 4. So there you go, guys. If you want to play, is it cross-platform in terms of those mediums, or is it just? It is not. It is like cross-platform is very difficult to do, and we just we didn't have the inf infrastructure for yeah. it, so it's just not something we were able to deliver, unfortunately. Well, there you go. If you want to play it on console, you have those uh, two consoles to play it on on Xbox and PlayStation, and also if you want to play it on Steam early access, you can play it right now. Was that? that absolutely. Correct? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So make sure that you get yourselves on there, guys. Is there? One thing I want to um, quickly ask, in terms of like loot boxes or games add-ons, is there anything that you need to kind of purchase for the game currently? If you buy the game, it is yours. Everything we've released in early access is yours. 
and anything that we tried to put out in early access but weren't able to put out in early access, if we're able to do that later, that will also come out for free. So, uh, and any any time, any kind of like post-launch content that will wait until after launch because right now we're only focusing on the launch so of the, the game. So does the beta stuff kind of carry over to the, the Absolutely. Launch? Oh, yeah. that's great as well, guys. It, so is a, it is a buy once, play it forever type game. Brilliant. And also that you've got like the content updates and bits and pieces that are going with that. Um, so what else do, do people have to look forward to? Who does the, the voice work for Conan, etc.? Um, the voice work for Conan, I, I forget his name actually, but it's a voice actor that I, whose name I didn't really recognize. So you, <laughs> might, not, you might not know who he is uh, from, from the get-go. Go we look it up, we have some really good voice actors in this game. Um, uh, Frida Wolf, for example. Uh, Robin Atkin Downs is in this. Yes. David Sobolov is in this. Oh, awesome. So we've got some really cool talent uh, bringing their voices to it. Uh, we also have some of our developers bringing our... Uh, "Quote unquote talents to it. I'm a merchant in the game at one point. Uh, one of our animators is a merchant in the game, so we've uh, we've done um, we've had some fun with it. Brilliant. So make sure, guys, you check it out as well. Check that out in May. And as always, this has been Michael Burhan, of course, letting you guys know that we've got gameplay. Have you? prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified, and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed, <laughs> until fate intervenes. and survive. We will meet again, dead man. So, what do you think of the video? Did you like it? If you did, make sure you click on that bell so you can like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also, speaking of video games, you can check out my experience at Anvio with the awesome Bex Trista from Trista Bytes. You can check it out on her channel or by clicking on the link below it for a huge 4K experience. And as always, stay tuned to nerdgenius.com for more videos where you can see my rather British reviews, movie files, m other interesting EGX Res experiences, and much, much more. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys. <laughs>